hi welcome to the video i hope your day is going well this week we're having another one of those no plot just vibes sketch with me with a chaotic voiceover things <laughs> if you don't mind because nothing tangible really happened this week or rather video wise like nothing really pulled together i started recording a normal vlog um on monday i think and it was going great and then everything just turned into i don't even remember like this week was so much chaos and it was so weird and i'm so tired and so sleep deprived that i barely even remember anything from this week and things that i do remember from the from this week i feel like they were like two weeks ago it's so weird i just need a break <laughs> i need to slow down big time and that's that's what i'm aiming to do i guess with this video as well so this is me just sketching in a traveler's notebook style sketchbook that's a lot of words to say I recorded this yesterday on Saturday and I'm recording this voiceover today on Sunday. I don't know if you need all of this information, but um, yeah, I just, yeah, how do I explain? <laughs> so yesterday I was really stressing out about not having anything to show for the week, not having anything to like upload and I'm trying to stay realistic and gentle to myself and not beat myself up for not having content to put up because it's just not realistic. Like you're gonna skip some weeks or months sometimes. It's fine. You have to prioritize your mental health and everything. It's just YouTube. I don't even make any money off of it. My channel is not monetized. So it's like... Um, the grind set you have to turn it off <laughs> you have to keep yourself from overworking yourself that that's just not healthy and it's toxic but then at the same time i'm like well i want to document my existence somehow i just want to put it up for myself because it's it's a nice routine and it keeps me somewhat grounded in the week i guess it's a nice achievement to upload something on sunday and be like oh okay I, I i worked towards something during the week and i did something and it's out there and that makes me feel very nice and calm and reassured in some type of way so i decided to do the bare minimum <laughs> And at the same time, I tricked myself into doing like a very satisfying activity, which is just mindlessly sketching whatever comes to mind or whatever I see on Pinterest with a ballpoint pen in this little sketchbook insert. Um, it wasn't as satisfying as I expected it to be at the end because I just could not relax. <laughs> Probably because I had the camera recording it all and that like the camera doesn't obscure my view or anything it's just that weird thing that happens to you that you you can't draw when somebody is watching you i how can somebody in the comments explain it to me scientifically why do i stiffen up so much when i have camera recording my drawing it's so weird i don't understand it but yeah i wasn't completely relaxed and having like a lot of fun with these sketches but it was nice to take my mind off things and just scribble a lot um because <laughs> that's just what i like to do it's the primal urge to scribble i think it also has to do with the fact that i'm neurodivergent and i stim a lot and it might be like a form of stimming or something. But then if I were to just scribble on the page without it being like a certain sketch or an image or something, you know how people doodle sometimes when they're on the phone? That just does not do it for me. I find it extremely boring, <laughs> like annoying in a way. It's weird. I could never do that. But then when... I need to satisfy the primal urge to scribble and I realize that I can't just scribble, I need to draw something, like, thematically. I don't have any idea for what to draw and that sends me for a loop. <laughs> so Pinterest has been my best friend for a long time with this and yeah, that's what I'm doing on screen. I'm just, I'm just scribbling and looking at 
like images from Pinterest. The strawberries were from the head, just because they're easy to draw. You don't need reference for strawberries. I think I was also on the background watching a video by Sketches of Shay, and strawberries are kind of her theme, so that's why I drew them, which is it's nice that I can remember it from the drawing. It's kind of it's kind of interesting. But yeah, all of the other things are just from reference. Um, crows, crows, cat. Uh, how do you pronounce this word? I don't know. I this voiceover is getting really chaotic and absolutely out of plan right now. But first of all, there are crows or crows. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce this word because I've been reading Six of Crows and making a video about it so that's the theme of the week and month apparently another interesting thing about crows is that i again i don't know how to pronounce this word and every time i try my partner corrects me he, uh, he never corrects my pronunciation on things so whenever he does it's like a big thing like i'm really mis mispronouncing something so he always corrects me when i say crows or crows and I never, I can never understand what the hell I'm getting wrong in this word. <laughs> so just bear with me here. This is, this is my curse, I guess. Um, I need to look it up or something. Or maybe just go through life not knowing how to pronounce it. It's fine. It's whatever. It's just a word. So yeah, that's, that's the, that's the thing. I was also kind of experimenting with ballpoint pen hatching on this page i recently i discovered that like if you scribble in a certain way that i can't <laughs> explain verbally it makes for a very interesting texture and i tried to do that on the strawberries and on the on the cat drawing on on the on the birds not that much but i don't think it turned out very good looking on the cat but on this on the very first strawberry that i drew i really like how it looks so that's interesting i've been kind of developing different styles of hatching <laughs> which uh, the thing that i'm aiming for is definitely already existing like somebody has come up with a certain style of like hatching or scribbling for a texture but I'm just too lazy to look it up, so I, I kind of am inventing it by myself, which is fun, I guess. It's, it's, it's nice. And I was also drawing today, <laughs> but without the camera, and I, I, I kept doing this ballpoint pen scribble thing, and I don't know, it's shaping into something, it's really fun. I, I love ballpoint pen, even though I only started drawing with it like this year because prior to that I was always just so terrified of it because when you are not very good at art and drawing you don't have much skill you try to draw something with ballpoint pen it turns out absolute disgusting just so bad and I think that kind of maybe traumatized me <laughs> as a kid when I was like in middle school or something i will try to doodle with ballpoint pen and it will just come out absolutely horrendous and i i, I swore off this thing but i picked it up this year and it's been so much fun i i get it now ballpoint pen is so freeing and so fun and there are different ones you know you can have a thinner one and you can have a thicker one and you can have like a, a, a a drier one or an oilier one like it's a whole it's a whole world of ballpoint pens <laughs> um it's really cool and also another thing is that this particular sketchbook has like a toned paper that is quite dark so drawing with a regular pencil on it is just not fun it doesn't show up well and it's very annoying because at the end you have a page that maybe has some cute drawings but they're just so pale and it's like you might not have even drawn on this page at all. <laughs> so I kind of dropped all my ideas of drawing with a regular pencil in the sketchbook. And, and I, I only do ballpoint pen now. I was also initially planning to draw with ink. Like with, with a dip pen in the sketchbook. But it's just too much hassle. If I want to keep a consistent art practice, I need to keep it as accessible to me as possible like 
If I need to prepare things before the drawing session, it just... I'm sorry for the background noise, uh, by the way. If you can hear anything, I can't do anything about it. But what I was saying is that I need to be able to just pick up my supplies and start drawing on the spot <laughs> when the inspiration hits. Because if I am, if I need to set things up before the drawing session and be like, okay, I'm going to be here for several hours doing this particular thing, it just puts so much pressure on me for some reason. And then my, my hands, they just don't move in a way that they're supposed to when I'm drawing and it's just all very disappointing so so my relationship with dip pen hasn't been going anywhere so far and I'm very upset because dip pens are cool but maybe if I could find a better way of like accessing it then it would be easier but also it just makes so much mess everywhere the ink oh my god now I'm just complaining I don't know what to do about it um, yeah, so on the screen right now, we are onto the second page and I'm just, again, doodling. I think it was, it was definitely a reference image. It might have been Oliver Sykes. <laughs> uh, he does not look like himself, but that was not the, the aim for this doodle. I just wanted to draw a guy looking into distance, whatever. And I really enjoy drawing hair with ballpoint pen as well. Because, again, you can just, like, scribble and hatch in all of the different directions. It makes up, like, a very nice texture. Um, sometimes it comes out looking better than the other times. But it's always fun in the process. I, yeah. <laughs> and then I decided to just fuck it all and started drawing, I think, from imagination. I might have had some sort of forever no that was like completely from imagination because i have been fixating on <laughs> bodies in general <laughs> because i've been trying to learn anatomy and like human body is so beautiful have you seen it like ah i'm losing my mind but specifically the rib cage and how it makes um a person's waist and how the rib cage and the spine are like a carcass of your body, but then you have the the skin, like your flesh, on top, and it, it's all like it moves according to the carcass of the body. Like I don't, it, I'm, I don't want to be weird <laughs> right now explaining it because I know it sounds very like I don't even know Hannibal, <laughs> but it's just something that I've been I've been fixating on like in my thoughts and also visually when I'm drawing I really like the pretty lines and curves and structure that makes up other things I mm, I can't find words for it like in my head it's all very poetic and very like romantic and beautiful but when I try to talk about it I just sound so creepy <laughs> which maybe is a common thing for artists I I don't know it's weird so yeah, I've been um in very I've been very enjoying just drawing these kind of gestures and, and the rib cage and then the, the skin <laughs> on top, sort of. It's it's nice. And I at this point I was like, well this page does not look very good anyway, so I'm just gonna go in and draw whatever. And and then I found a reference of a cat that looked very creepy and I was like yeah, I'm gonna do that. I have no idea how to draw cats. I have very little idea, rather. There are a lot of artists who draw primarily like animals and landscapes and whatnot, objects and never draw people. And I, I admire them because <laughs> I'm the opposite. Like my entire art journey, ever since I was young, I think my main goal in art and drawing in, in like developing skill, I think my main goal was to learn how to draw people, their faces and then bodies and then bodies interacting with each other, etc. I don't know why it, it was always just the goal for no reason. And maybe because I started drawing because I was watching anime and I was like, I want to learn how to draw my favorite characters. And then I started drawing them and then I was like, well, I want to be able to draw any human in the in world or like any character. And that's how it came to be. But basically the entire time I was fixating on drawing people 
it, not successfully very much because again i'm 20 years old i can't draw a body <laughs> well i can but like the struggle it's not as easy as it would make sense to be um after like 15 years of drawing people almost exclusively so whenever it comes to drawing animals and especially feline creatures i lose my fucking mind <laughs> like they come out so wonky i've gotten a bit better at that like but 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 this cat is a proof that i can't i can't draw animals for shit absolutely <laughs> Um, so yeah, and, and this is, this is me just filling up the remaining space, I guess, because I didn't, I couldn't find anything else to draw, basically, my inspiration withered away, and I was very stiff while drawing these, but it was still a, lo a lot of fun, um, regardless, so I decided to just fill the space with doodles and pretend like, like it's the guy saying something, <laughs> which I think is interesting, kind of, in a way. In a, in a very pathetic way. <laughs> um, yeah, that's the end of the video. Thank you for being here and entering this. I think it's kind of, it's a cute one, in my humble opinion. And this is just me going through some previous pages very clumsily. Nothing interesting there, really. But I'll also show the notebooks in the, in the notebook. <laughs> I recently moved into a new commonplace notebook that I set up. I wanted to set it up on camera, but I was too nervous. So here it is. Here it is on the screen. So yeah, like I don't know what else to say. Um, thanks, thanks for hanging out with me. <laughs> and I'll, I'll see you next week, I guess. Bye!